Let's create this responsive layout in Webflow. By learning these techniques, you'll be able to create a variety of different layouts. So let's add a div. We'll give it the class of header layout. And inside that, let's add an H2. We'll give it the class of header title. And let's give this a utility of our text style H1. So it has a larger font size. And I'll just paste in the text here. So we're going to select the first couple words in this. And we're going to convert them to a span. And we'll give this the class of header words. And if we were to give this some margin, notice how it's pushing over the words, causing them to wrap. And even these two words that are wrapped in the same span, if we add enough margin, we'll eventually get them breaking onto separate lines here. So we want to give this a custom margin value, and we'll switch this over to column width variable. And if I hit the tab key, the Lumos Chrome extension will automatically wrap that in a var for me. And so now it's the width of a column plus the gap for that column. And if you're interested in the code that's creating this, it's in the base embed. And it's these two variables here called grid gap, total, and column width that are creating that offset. Now, if we want to make this pushed over by three columns, what we can do instead is I'll replace this with, we'll say column width, and we'll say times three. And if I hit the tab key, it'll wrap it in a calc and variable for me. And now it's pushed over by three columns here. Let's go ahead and add in our image. So I'll drop a div. I'll give this the class of header visual. I'll bring this above the title. And let's go ahead and give this a utility of view visual wrap. So it's position relative. It has an aspect ratio, overflow hidden, and a border radius. And inside that, I'll drop in my global visual component, which can be an image or video. And I'll choose an image here. So for this visual, let's go ahead and give it a custom width. And we'll go ahead and set column width. And we'll say times three. And what we'll notice, let me hit tab, is it's setting it to the width of three columns. But we have this extra gap here that we actually don't want for our image. So what we can do instead is we'll say column width, we'll say times three, and then we'll say minus our grid gap main which is a native Webflow variable in the panel. And if I hit the tab key, it'll wrap that in variables and calcs. And now we subtract it, the width of a single grid gap from the width of this item here. Next, we can go ahead and give this some negative margin. I might say negative two rim or something to get it to line up in the exact right place. And once we have that set, the problem is on each breakpoint when the font size changes, now it's no longer lined up in the right place. So we want this margin to be based on the font size of this heading element. So what we can do instead is we'll remove the H1 font size from the title itself. And instead, we'll add it to the entire parent, the layout. And we can just add that on. And now if we select this visual and give it some negative margin using EM instead, this EM is based on the font size of the element. So once we have that set where we want, then when the font size changes across breakpoints, this image will always stay in the right place. Let me go ahead and adjust the ratio to be something a little bit tighter. And we'll go ahead on this breakpoint and change our image to be 100% width. We'll give it some margin of maybe one rim. And we'll go ahead and select the words in here and change the margin here to be zero. So we're zeroing that out. And it'll just work that way across the next couple breakpoints. Now, what we're going to want to do is link the text of this to a component field or a CMS field. And because these words are wrapped in their own span, it's not quite working out where we could link it that way. So what we can do is clear the formatting, and then we can wrap all of our words in a span. And we'll give this the class of header words. And it works the exact same way. Um, it doesn't matter how many words are wrapped in the span. It'll still work as long as they are in a span. Now, the problem is we can't link the text of this span to a component field. Uh, we can only link the text of this whole element. And when we do that, it will remove our span. So what we will need to do instead is drop in a custom element. We'll give it a tag of H2. Inside that, we'll drop another custom element. We'll give this one a tag of span. We'll go ahead and paste in our text, um, which can now actually be linked to a component field from the text on this span. And let's give it that class of header words. And let's give this title the class of header title. 
And once we have that set, we can go ahead and delete the original H2. And now we have the same effect that can be linked up to CMS or components. And that's everything we need to know to create this text in Webflow.